Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm uh, on my way to the bank. Jeez. It's a risky job. Well, I guess he's probably tied in. Anyway, so uh, I'm on my way to the bank. This is the follow-up video. If you saw my previous video, I had a viewer and a friend send me some, uh, some currency from Nicaragua. It was uh, mostly older currency, and there were some coins and some paper bills and stuff. And uh, I had a conversation with someone completely different, maybe six or seven months ago. It was a while back. Uh, who knows? Maybe it was a year ago. Sometimes my memory is not that great. But uh, the conversation was basically about this person had some Canadian dollars. Uh, I want to say his mother left to him. I forget. But he had like 200 bucks or something Canadian. And he lives in America. He was out west somewhere. And he didn't know what to do with it. So I had suggested that he talk to his local bank because not a lot of people know that. Well, who knows? Maybe you know this, maybe you don't. But in America, you can go to pretty much any bank and you can exchange foreign currency for U.S. currency. You can also order foreign currency. So let's say you know you're going on vacation to a different country. You can go to your bank and see if they have access to that currency and you can place an order. So this way, when you travel, you already have that country's currency. So... Not a lot of people know this, I guess. I, I didn't think they did. But um, I always wanted to test this out. But the foreign currency I have is like, you know, a $5 bill or a $10 bill here and there. And, you know, with the exchange rate, it's never worth it because there are fees involved. Um, so after I got this recent package, I reached out. I talked to the, uh, the person who sent it. His name is Maverick. I can say that now. Um, and I asked him if uh, he'd be okay with me. Uh, you know, making a video showing this because it's a process not a lot of people know about or ever do because it's kind of rare to have, you know, foreign currency in America and actually want to exchange it. So he said, yeah, yeah, no problem. I, asked, I actually asked him if he wanted, you know, some of the money back or at least half the money back um, just because I didn't know if he knew what was going on. Like I asked the history of it, why he even sent it. He had said, no, it's no problem. He got it in a, an estate sale. I'm assuming it's with other things. He didn't know what to do with it. He thought, hey, Jeff likes old money, and so there you go. But the 1,000 Cordobas, um, because he sent a significant amount of them, and because they're in good condition, I'm going to go to the bank, and I'm documenting this process of exchanging foreign currency for U.S. dollars. Now, I called around a couple different banks, and here's the thing. Uh, pretty much every bank, well, literally every bank I called, they probably called six or seven different banks, they all do that. They all exchange foreign currency for U.S. currency. You can not only bring in your foreign currency and get U.S. currency in exchange back, but you can also order foreign currency. However, there is an approved currency list. So it's not literally everything. It has to be some of the more major currencies. Obviously, it can't be something that is no longer used either. Um, so like, you know, if you bring your Zimbabwe dollars, they're not going to care about that. They're not going to give you anything for it. But it is a process. Um, so I'm on my way to a, this is specifically a dime bank. I called, again, a lot of the major banks and even smaller banks, and they all could do it, but not with um, these specific Cordovas. They just say it's not on their list, so they can't do it. But dime bank said they would. So we'll see. Uh, so like I said, I'm on my way there right now. Uh, I did talk to him previously yesterday. I wanted to make sure that that was going to be okay because other banks said that they don't accept these specific Nicaraguan dollars. They said they do. I have to come in. I have to sit down. I have to do paperwork. They're going to give me a receipt for them. I, they have to ship them out. So you have to pay like a fee. And I'll, I'll give you the details when I'm all done here uh, when I get out of the bank. But I think it was like $15 or something. But then you also have to pay the actual shipping because they're going to ship it to another place to verify that they're genuine and not counterfeit. You know, so you're talking probably 30 or 40 bucks ish, I have to assume. So obviously it doesn't make sense if you have, you know, one bill or something. All right, I am at the bank. So here is a uh, close up of the money if you didn't see the previous video. So these are 1,000 Cordoba notes, okay? Un mil Cordoba. Um, and these are from 1985. They seem to be uncirculated. Um, some of them were, you know, consecutive serial numbers. So here's the thing with these uh, particular bills. Um, if you look at like eBay and stuff, you know, as far as collectors value on these, they sell, they do from like $2 to $5 or so. However, the actual um, currency exchange rate is one Cordoba is worth uh, 0 0.027 cents US. So it's not much at all. You know, one Cordoba is two cents essentially. But these are 1,000 Cordoba bills, right? So these are supposed to be worth around $27 US. 
So having a bunch of them, that should be a substantial amount of money. Now, like I said, I, um, I did reach out to uh, Maverick, again, asked if he wanted to split the money. Like I didn't know where he got these originally from. And I think I explained this before, but he got it from an estate sale. Didn't really care much about them, but you know, was very, very generous to offer them to me. Just said, hey, I got something in the mail. I said, all right, I'll keep an eye out. And then when I opened it, I was kind of surprised. There's a lot of cool stuff. I am gonna, I'm not gonna uh, exchange all these. I do like these. I think they're very cool. They're very fun. So I'm not gonna exchange all of them, but I am gonna ch exchange most of them. So I'm gonna go inside and see what this process is like. When I'm all done, I'll come out and tell you all about it. So I'll be back. All right. Alrighty. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Jeff. Appreciate you know. it. No problem. All right. So, uh, as you saw there, I was uh, filming a little bit because uh, she she's a very nice uh, teller. Um, she just doesn't know the exact process right now, so she has to talk to a superior who's not there. Um, I'm more than likely, I have to come back and fill out paperwork and stuff. But uh, for now, you know, she gave me a receipt. That's why I was filming, and I asked if I can film as well. She said, "Sure, as long as you don't show my face, uh, just to show proof," because I'm obviously leaving it here. So I'll come back and they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll continue with this process as soon as I know more information. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So it is another day, as you can probably tell from the freak snow that we got. It's been beautiful out. Now all of a sudden it's winter again. But anyway, I am at the bank again. And unfortunately, they could not exchange these. Um, although they verified that these are real, the issue is that it's not currently the currency now i believe uh nicaragua still uses cordobas but they changed the design these are from 1985 if you could see let's see let me zoom in a second here and look on the bill they're right right there right in the middle of your screen 1985 right so uh unfortunately it's not um one of their um, approved currencies that they can actually um, exchange. However, a nice long talk with the uh, branch manager and um, they absolutely do this. What happens is they use a, uh, a third party. So the bank's not doing this. The bank actually hires a separate company that specifically deals with foreign currencies and they just have to be you know, major currencies as well as current currencies. So the Cordoba had changed designs apparently, and these are just too old. So they're not, they're not currently being manufactured in the bank of Nicaragua, if that makes sense. So because of that, it's, it's different in different countries in America. Obviously I can take a 2007 $5 bill and use it in America and bring it to a bank. I can get, take a 1984 um, you know, $5 bill and use it in America. I can take a 1925 $5 bill and it doesn't matter. You know, our money is good no matter what the date is, but it's a little trickier with some of these other currencies. So I got a very nice long apology, which is totally fine. Uh, but I did want to make this video anyway, just to say that they do this. All right. So whatever bank you guys happen to personally use, if you're interested in either ordering foreign currency, or if you want to exchange foreign currency, just give them a call, talk to someone on the phone. Uh, it's even better in person if you happen to be there, but maybe you want to save some gas and just inquire, uh, ask them what kind of currencies that they offer uh, to purchase as well as what they will accept for exchange. But it's very much a thing. So you, you know, if you're traveling or something, or if you came back from a country and oh no, I forgot I got $500 worth of Canadian bucks or whatever. Um, you can do that. All right. You just have to go through this process. And like I said, there is a fee involved. What they were going to charge uh, at this particular bank was $15 for their processing fee. And then the actual shipping charge for FedEx to send it to the location. Uh, obviously that will change from bank to bank, but yeah, there you go. Kind of uh, an interesting subject. It's uh, it's bittersweet because I do like these, so I'm going to be able to keep them now. But I kind of wanted to go through the entire process because I was curious to see how long the turnaround time was. They had said that it could take a few weeks, um, which I thought was you know fascinating. I don't know how much interest there is with this other company. They also mentioned that some of the larger um, banks like Bank of America or Chase, like the really, really big banks, that they can possibly exchange any foreign currency because they do it internally. They don't use a second company. The bank themselves do it. So who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll pursue that and see see if that's uh, something that they can do. But for now, that's okay. These are pretty cool little uh, collectibles. So that's all. Just want to give you an update on that. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.